Welcome to an overview of our TVS 2650 supercharger for the LSA engine. It's been an interesting development journey over the past four years on this platform. This very car has played a significant part, seeing no less than four different superchargers on various engine combinations, always running 98 RON fuel. Our R&D development program kicked off in mid-2013 when we had brief access to a Press LSA GDS and the program accelerated when this white GDS was dropped off by a very good customer fresh from the dealership. At the beginning, this car from the factory made 359 kilowatts or 481 horsepower and 506 foot-pounds of torque at the hubs on our Dynapack. Validating our popular stage one, two and three systems, the car progressed with pushing the envelope to find the limit of the stock LSA engine and factory fitted TVS 1900 blower. All dynos are different and a source of much debate, but their fundamental intent is to be used for comparative performance measurement on the same vehicle to assess tuning and hardware mods. Pretty simple really. So back in late 2013, this car made 503 kilowatts or 675 horsepower and 694 foot-pounds at the hubs when turning the blower to 14.8 psi. Seeing a fair share of high-performance racetrack activity, this GDS spun a bearing in 2014 and returned for the next phase of its evolution. With our extensive experience with Eaton TVS superchargers, the next development step was to assess the bigger brother TVS 2300 blower on the LSA engine. So to achieve this, we sourced a new LS9 supercharger as used on the C6 ZR1 Corvette, or ZR1 as we call it here in Australia, and also the recently released HSV W1. Our talented engineers integrated the factory LSA front cover, intercooler and lid with the lower TVS 2300 assembly as a prototype and fitted it up to the rebuilt short motor that was rebuilt with forged rods and pistons retaining factory compression of 9.1 to 1. At 15.2 psi, the LS9 based 2300 delivered peak performance of 532 kilowatts or 713 horsepower and 698 foot-pounds which was the limit of the LSA engine combination at that time. Over a year later, a failure of the LS9 supercharger assembly was a catalyst for further change. At this time, the 2300 was the largest blower displacement in the TVS range, and the customer wanting more went with a built 416 cube long motor with a competitor 2.9 litre blower fitted and tuned by another workshop. This package, when it returned to Harrop Performance Centre this year, made 557 kilowatts or 747 horsepower and 715 foot-pounds of torque, with the 416 cubic inch engine and 2.9 litre twin screw at 14 psi. This was an expected gain over the LS9 TVS 2300 with the smaller 6.2 litre or 376 cubic inch engine combo. With the release this year of the bigger TVS 2650 supercharger for LS3 and LS7 combo engines, we have been eager to integrate the 2650 onto the LSA engine, which is very popular both here in Australia and the USA. On the same 416 cube engine combo, we have adapted the LS3 based TVS 2650 kit to utilise the LSA supercharger drive system and retain our popular OTR for optimised intake flow through an existing LS2 type 90mm throttle body. With the TVS 2650 installed, we immediately found that the car was out of fuel delivery to the engine, which required a larger dual in-tank pumps to meet the needs of the increased airflow from the 2650 blower. Still running 98 RON, the new package produces an impressive 607 kilowatts or 814 horsepower and 805 foot-pounds of torque at just 14 psi, 
with the engine turning to just 6700 RPM. Solid gains for power and torque, picking up everywhere throughout the rev range. All packaged under the factory VF hood, running easily accessible premium unleaded. Available to order now as an engine kit for LS3, LS7 and LSA featuring rectangular port heads. Learn more at harrop.com.au and subscribe to Harrop TV for all of our content as released.